Hi, welcome to Eczema Phoenix. My name is Teresa Alabada, and this is where we learn how to transform the way we live with eczema. So today I want to talk about having eczema during the holidays and some of my best survival tips. So the holidays are full of traditions, checklists, you have to have uh, the cake or the Thanksgiving turkey or the mashed potatoes or um, I don't know, ambrosia and all kinds of things. There are many food triggers that are temptations during the holidays. That is my biggest um, kryptonite <laughs> when it comes to trying to celebrate the holidays as someone with sensitive skin. So my first tip is to be comfortable with others' discomfort. What I mean by that is in order to survive... <laughs> The holidays with eczema you have to be comfortable drawing boundaries and telling people when you can and cannot eat or drink certain things alcohol is another very popular thing to consume during the holidays it is expected um you clink for the new year's you uh drink um i don't know cider and an eggnog and all kinds of things with all kinds of ingredients that could be allergenic like dairy, alcohol itself, sugar, certain maybe fruits or things that you have specific allergies to, chocolate nuts. And and I've found over the years that my sacrifice of my comfort level for the sake of other people's comfort levels who do not have eczema, who do not have skin issues, digestive issues, immune issues, is just not worth it for me because either way, they're the only ones winning. Not that this is a competition or a game, but it's like at some point I've got to win too. At some point I've got to balance out the scales and I've got to find a way to uh, make it fair for myself so that I as a guest can also enjoy the holidays and me just not saying anything or me just giving in to temptation or, um, to make someone else, I don't know, not feel bad about me not eating the food or the drink that they provided um, is just like too risky for me and it's not worth the potential hours, days, weeks, and potentially months of agonizing pain and itching and swelling and oozing and whatever else way my skin and body may react to what I consume. It's just not worth it for one night. It's not worth it for one person. Um, even if they're, they're a family member, even if they're a significant other, my health is priority because if I'm not healthy, I can't be there for anyone else I care about. So if they care about me, they got to compromise for me too. And so if I say I'm allergic to something, if I say I don't feel like eating or drinking something, that is me drawing a boundary and it must be respected. And the only way I can successfully enforce it is to be comfortable with other people's discomfort. And if it gets too uncomfortable, if they make too big an issue, I just gotta leave. And, and that's just has to be it because again, my health is my priority. I have got to survive. <laughs> I've got to also be able to enjoy myself. And if there are people around me who are not willing to compromise and not willing to accommodate my needs as well, then that's not really a safe place for me to be. Uh, and it's for me, it is not worth um, sticking out just for the holidays and just to please uh, family members and all of that. Now, if you live with them, that definitely makes things more difficult. Hopefully they care about you enough to listen to your perspective and your side of things and to maybe next time next year or whatnot, um, come up with uh, another way to enjoy the holidays that can truly accommodate everybody. My second tip is to eat until you're full before you go out <laughs> and bring snacks in case you think you might get hungry later or drinks or whatever else. Bring, like, make sure that you're already satisfied so that if there's anything at the party that you can have, it's like a bonus. It's like a little some extra that you can enjoy. And it's like a pleasant surprise rather than you go somewhere hungry, hoping that there will be something for you. Um, and basically taking a risk, basically taking a gamble 
and a shot in the dark because even if you tell people your triggers and your allergies ahead of time unless they really know you unless they really care and they really put in the effort to do the research to run things by you make sure it's really like everything's 100 percent kosher for you and like safe for you to eat um there's just always a risk of like well something else might have gotten in maybe they couldn't find a specific ingredient they substitute it with something else that they think is adjacent but it's still something that will trigger you and I just don't think it's worth it so come prepared come to a party already full come to a party with your own food and just like have that be what you do that's like your routine that's your standard it doesn't have to be a big deal no one has to give you a pit no one has to throw you a pity party you don't have to throw yourself a pity party this is just like your new routine that you do during the holidays because you are you and you have the skin that you have and everyone just does them and um, it could just be another thing, not a big deal. My third tip is to, if you have the energy for it, flip the script. If someone starts to put you on a guilt trip or make you feel bad or make you, you know, feel super sorry for you that um, you can't enjoy this food and they're reacting to you the way they would react to themselves if they were in your shoes, if you know what I mean, like, then I say, instead of making, instead of going along with it, which is something I've done a lot in my life, I've learned to just kind of flip the script and be like, well, I know that as someone who cares about me, <laughs> you care about my well-being and my health and that you will do everything that you can to make sure that I am comfortable at your party or your gathering or whatnot because you are such a good person and such a good friend i know that you will not be the kind of person i don't know if you can hear that motorcycle <laughs> but you'll be the kind of person to just make sure i am so comfortable and feel super secure safe and i know that you will watch out for me because you are that good of a person and so you see you don't have to get angry you don't have to get into a fight or accuse anyone of being inconsiderate or you don't have to feel sorry for yourself either you're like i am someone in pain and so i trust and i know that people will react to me in a way that will be caring considerate and um make me feel accepted and supported because i know that the people around me are good people. They would not be the kind of people to make me feel worse about a situation that's already bad and already painful. So I hope these tips help you during the holidays. If you use any of them, please let me know. I'd love to see how they work in the real world and if they're just as effective for other eczema warriors as they are for me. And I wish you the very best. Good luck out there. Enjoy the holidays and I will see you in the next video. Bye.